The Madeleine French pronunciation, Mad Lane, English, or, or Petite Madeleine, P. Tip Mad Lane, is a traditional small cake from Commercy and Liverton, two communes of the Lorraine region in northeastern France. Madeleines are very small sponge cakes with a distinctive shell-like shape acquired from being baked in pans with shell-shaped depressions. Aside from the traditional molded pan, commonly found in stores specializing in kitchen equipment and even hardware stores, no special tools are required to make madelines. A genoise cake batter is used. The flavor is similar to, but somewhat lighter than, sponge cake. Traditional recipes include very finely ground nuts, usually almonds. A variation uses lemon zest for a pronounced lemony taste. English madelines also use a genoise sponge but they are baked in darial molds. After cooking, the cakes are coated in jam and desiccated coconut, and are usually topped with a glacé cherry. History Legend Several legends are attached to the invention of the Madelines. They have tended to center on a female character named Madeline who is said to have been in the service of an important character in the history of Lorraine, although there is no consensus over the last name of the cook, nor the identity of the famous character. Some consider that the illustrious patron was 17th-century cardinal and rebel Paul de Gandhi, who owned a castle in Commercy. Others consider that the inventor was named Madeleine Palmier, who is said to have been a cook in the 18th century for Stanislaus I, Duke of Lorraine and exiled King of Poland. The story goes that, in 1755, Louis XV, son-in-law of the Duke, charmed by the little cakes prepared by Madeleine Palmier, named them after her, while his wife, Maria Leszczynska, introduced them soon afterward to the court in Versailles. Much beloved by the royal family, they conquered the rest of France in no time. Yet other stories have linked the cake with the pilgrimage to Compostela, in Spain. A pilgrim named Madeleine is said to have brought back the recipe from her voyage, or a cook named Madeleine is said to have offered little cakes in the shape of a shell to the pilgrims passing through Lorraine. Other stories do not give the cake a Lorraine origin and lay its invention at the feet of pastry chef Jean Avis, who worked in the kitchens of Prince Talleyrand. Avis is said to have invented the madeleine in the 19th century by baking little cakes in aspic molds. First recipes The term madeleine to describe a small cake seems to appear for the first time in France in the middle of the 18th century. In 1758, a French retainer of an Irish Jacobite refugee in France, Lord Southwell, is said to prepare cakes a la madeleine and other small desserts. The appearance of the madeleine is indicative of the increasing use of metal molds in European baking in the 18th century see also canales, but the commercial success of the madeleine dates back to the early years of the 19th century. Several mentions of the madeleine are made by culinary writers during the Napoleonic era, in particular in the recipe books of Antonin Kermi and by famous gastronomer Grimaud de la Rainière. In Commercy, the production at a large scale of madelines is said to have begun in the 1760s. In addition to being sold at the Commercy rail station, thus accelerating their spread through the country, is likely that the cakes were exported to Paris along with the marmalade from Bar le Duc and the croquantes from Reims. By the end of the 19th century, the madeleine is considered a staple of the diet of the French bourgeoisie. In the 20th century, Madelines were chosen to represent France in the Café Europe initiative of the Austrian Presidency of the European Union, on Europe Day 2006. Literary reference In In Search of Lost Time, also known as Remembrance of Things Past, author Marcel Proust uses Madelines to contrast involuntary memory with voluntary memory. The latter designates memories retrieved by intelligence. That is, memories produced by putting conscious effort into remembering events, people, and places. Proust's narrator laments that such memories are inevitably partial, and do not bear the essence of the past. The most famous instance of involuntary memory by Proust is known as the episode of the Madeleine. Yet there are at least half a dozen other examples in In Search of Lost Time. No sooner had the warm liquid mixed with the crumbs touched my palate than a shudder ran through me and I stopped, intent upon the extraordinary thing that was happening to me. 
An exquisite pleasure had invaded my senses, something isolated, detached, with no suggestion of its origin. And at once the vicissitudes of life had become indifferent to me, its disasters innocuous, its brevity illusory, this new sensation having had on me the effect which love has of filling me with a precious essence, or rather this essence was not in me it was me. Whence did it come? What did it mean? How could I seize and apprehend it? And suddenly the memory revealed itself. The taste was that of the little piece of madeleine which on Sunday mornings at Cambrai, because on those mornings I did not go out before Mass, when I went to say good morning to her in her bedroom, my Aunt Leone used to give me, dipping it first in her own cup of tea or tisan. The sight of the little madeleine had recalled nothing to my mind before I tasted it. And all from my cup of tea. References <laughs>